Ah! How are we doing? Tonight, I thought to have a look at this a little uh, Nombrex RF generator model 29X. And I think it's a lovely, cute little thing. Look at the size of it, it's tiny. And uh, I picked this up at the NVCF a couple of years ago. And uh, it appears someone else had it at some stage. It was sold at a, one of the radio file auctions. Uh, in 2015 so it's obviously being passed around the old radio community a bit uh, I can't remember what I paid but it was only a couple of quid and yeah so I thought we'd have a look at it see if it's working and uh, see how close it is and what have you I'd like to know if anyone else has one of these and what they think of it I think these were advertised in uh, practical wireless and that back in the uh, early 70s so I don't know how many of them they made or whatever. But, uh, serial number on the bottom is uh, 5582. So I doubt they made five and a half thousand of them. But yeah, you never know. So I'll bring the old camera in. We'll, uh, stick a battery in it. So we'll see how close it is, the calibration. There's a battery in it, there's a battery in it, I'd say that's much use now. No, dead flat. The old tongue test never lies. No, good sting off that one, good 9 volts in here. Back on just yet. All right. Uh, let's see what I do. All right. I have the R six hundred here with a couple of foot wire on the end with. So I'll turn on the R six hundred. I'm going on a thousand. I'm make a hair. Band on my end. There's eight different eight bands on this. One, four, two, two. There's one megahertz there. You can see that? Was on range two. Oh, we're there. Dials out quite a bit. It's reading 940 kilohertz on the dial. Couple them a bit tighter together. You can hear the modulation tone. It also has an AF out as well. It sends out the uh, sends out a tone as well, so you can use it as a sort of a probe or whatever, or to check uh, um, AF amplifier or what have you. And the uh, the frequency adjustable. And you can adjust the modulation as well. Yeah, something else.
I don't. Must be funny. As a Carl, how do you? I see you can zero the frequency on this. So you get it on your mark and you can adjust it. Problem with this is it's that far out you won't be able to bring it in back into adjustment with this. And a crystal as well. Just crystal on the So that, oh yeah, so it's a crystal out there as well. I think there's a one megahertz crystal in it. And you can see the crystal there on the. So that's spot on. Yeah. Interesting. That's, this is the attenuator here. So we'll do a bit there on range. We'll try it on another range. We'll say range four. We'll go to five megahertz and see is it. See, it's probably out on all the ranges. Sorry, range five. Put range five. Fourteen megahertz. That's not far off now. That's nearly bang on the mark. Yeah, zero there, alright. Um, so that range is good. No way range four doesn't work. I'll just try it again. No, we'll not range four. Right, we'll try range six. No, we won't. We won't be able to reach it. It goes up to 220 uh, mega cycles. I'll try uh, range one then. Five hundred. Alright, so I'm four hundred here. Yeah, and it's just coming in at sort of the three fifty mark. Yeah, so the calibration's out a bit on some of the bands, and range 4 doesn't seem to be working at all. Anyway, not to worry. We'll open it up and have a quick look inside it. Yeah, so it's a lovely cute little thing. Uh, I wonder how useful they were in real life. So if, you, if, if you've uh, if you've had one of these or used one, uh, please comment and tell me what you think of them. I only bought this because it was a couple of quid and it was cute looking. And impulse purchase.
So we can see the adjustments. The slugs here. The various bands and slugs down here. For the eight ranges. Um, there's the gang there. It's well made. Nice uh, fiberglass board. There's the one megahertz crystal. I would imagine that every one of those resistors could be replaced. I'll just check the value on one of them for the crack. Well, I'd say they're all, my experience of them old carbon resistors and the televisions and that, they're always way out. And I'd say you'd be as well off just replacing the whole lot before uh, going adjusting all that. There's a 2.2k. 2.4 I'm still the shot. Two point four, which isn't bad. Must be across something with ten K or two point two K here. 2.65 3 3.3 1.5 it must be across that one but uh, yeah you could probably change the whole lot here's a 100 ohm down here hundred and ten ohm it's just within its value for the ten percent tolerance Yeah, they're all sort of uh, out of value a bit. They're not that bad. I'm seeing worse. But uh, you'd be as well off to change them. Well made little tin. Mm. Nice big weight on the uh, drive. Flywheel tuna. Mm, it has a little jack in the back so you could use an external power supply for the 9 volts. Jack input there. Alright, I'll leave it at that. Just a quick look video with that. Thanks for watching. Good luck.